Okay, so before this begins, I have actually cheated a little bit. I've taken the bottom one out and already done. So, this is the old tool chest, this is the new one. It's considerably, if that's the word, larger. It is 3 meters from here to here, or 1.8 in the middle. I do like it, I like the silver, I had to turn that spotlight thing on for the roof so you can actually see enough light. On camera it looks super reflective, but in person... It's not. All the foam from the boxes for this was actually used just to go on the inside of the garage. <laughs> and it almost fits it, so I'll have to get some pieces to cover it. Anyway, back to this. Uh, sorry, the SD camera, um, the SD card on the camera ran out when I was finishing the final parts, but uh, overall, it's nice and sturdy. I have no problems with it. I want to point out a few things such as the internals of the cabinets. The shelves are all completely modular. Using this sort of bracket system. These. Okay, so there's two manufacturers here. Even though they are one unit, technically. This must be made by one company. This must be made by another company and then they package them as a set. And the reason I say that is when you look inside these, which strangely will not open unless the key is unlocked and you can't even pull the key out. These have a slightly different bracket system. They're slightly wider, so you can't use the brackets off those. In these, they look close, but unfortunately they're not. And they've also got these checkered things on the inside. I'm not sure if the lighting is going to show you that. But it is there, so you could probably hang stuff from it. So what I mean about this... Okay, see the key? Alright, you can pull the key out. Put the key in, you can turn it. You can't pull the key out. So when you lock this... Alright...
you cannot get it out. Put the key back in. Turn it. It comes out. But you cannot pull the key out. You can't go past it. You can't push in. You can't twist. The key won't come out. So the, all the keys have got to stay in. Which I thought is annoying. So, probably should mention also, this is a pegboard. Goes all the way across. You put the little peg things in for people that don't know, and then you can just hang stuff on them for quick access tools and whatnot. This cabinet is the same as the other side. I'll space these shelves out slightly differently. I will be selling this, so I don't need it anymore. And that's also a box of cardboard cutouts that all come from this. Now, this hardwood here, it's too nice and shiny that I'm gonna have to get a cover to go over it. So let's start looking at the shelves. It's nothing special. They're not that deep, but they're deep enough for what I want. And yes, my tools are not organized. They're just chucked in as they are. These last ones are very deep. There's nothing in them though. It's only really the top three shelves on either sides. This one. Oh, there the side. Okay, so it, it did come with side handles. I should mention that. Um, if you want to take the cabinet away. If you didn't want side cabinets, they don't actually attach to it. They just do it. Um, but on a quick side note, see the wheels. The wheels are lockable on both sides. Yeah, the one at the back. These ones are not. However, something that is annoying, infuriating would be the word. Look how nice and lined up that is. And we'll come over to this side, and there's a gap. Why is that? Well, that is because the wheels hit it. You can't move these wheels in anymore. They actually don't align perfectly, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, it is what it is. Moving on to this drawer. these things all of these things all these tools were somehow jammed into all of this shenanigans and they used to get bunched up so much I don't even know what's in the bottom here I don't even think I've emptied this yet no still more stuff battery chargers and K&N filters okay I'll deal with that later so, that's that. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you'd like.